Meanwhile, an Amra State Governor, Professor Chukuma Saludo, says that former Governor Chimwoke Mbanoju led the way for the development of the state charging from his legacies. Governor Saludo stated this during a commendation service held at the International Convention Center, Oka, in honor of Dr. Mbadanoju. ABS Government House correspondent, A.G.K. Abana, filed the report. Governor Soludo praised the former governor for his achievements in the area of security of lives and property, which led to the establishment of an number of vigilante services, rejuvenated by successive administrations, infrastructural projects, taught people how to pray, amongst others, while stating that his memory will remain evergreen. The governor noted that no motto is perfect, but that the important thing is for people to do their best at all times and told his critics who choose to judge him based on the strike action embarked upon by the labor union during his time that it is not fair. Chairman on the occasion, Dr. ABC Ojiako, thanks Governor Soludo's decision to honor the dead, expressed his wish that the celebration happened when Dr. Mbadinuju was still alive and eulogized his fear of God, humility, dedication, and transformational development of the state. <laughs> Dr. Chinedu Emeka, who served as Mbadinju's deputy, described him as a figure of influence and servant of the people, pointing out that the remnants of the legacies he laid continued to speak and added that he enjoyed a collaborative relationship with him. Speaking to the ABS, former Governor Chris Njige expressed fond memories of Dr. Mbadinju as a silent achiever, just as the Speaker of the State House of Assembly, Right Honorable Sonito Chuku Deze, and Ambassador Bianco Juku were of the opinion that Dr. Mbadinju didn't get the accolade he deserved during his lifetime and prayed God to give the family the fortitude to bear the loss. He was a very good politician, a good man, a quintessential civil servant, a public servant. So my hand goes with the family and we will only say that we should not mourn like those who don't have hope. They hope in that on resurrection day, but we will be there. The event climaxed when Cheta Mbadinju led the presentation of books written by the former governor. In attendance were former governor Dean Veje Tiaba, Deputy Governor Dr. Nyakachuku Ibezim, Senator Uche Wunfe, former governor Willie Obiano, represented by former principal secretary Mr. Willie Mokoye, members of the State Executive Council, Transition Committee Chairman, Traditional Rulers, President General, led by barrister Titus Abudo, amongst others.